Romans 11 1 36, through the Bible. Chapter 11, 1 of 3, Theme, Remnant of Israel Finding Salvation, Remainder of Israel Blinded, Reason for Setting Aside the Nation Israel, Restoration of the Nation Israel. We will see, that God has a future purpose with Israel. In Chapter 9, we saw God's past dealings with Israel. In Chapter 10, we saw God's present dealings with Israel. A remnant of Israel is finding salvation. Perhaps, you are saying, well, it must be a very small remnant. It is larger than you might think it is. It is estimated, that there are about 15 million Jews throughout the world, and the percentage of those who are believers, is probably much higher than that of the Gentile world, with its 4 billion people. We have seen, that the nation rejected Christ, and the by-faith righteousness of God in Christ, which was offered to them. And, now God has rejected them temporarily as a nation. Two questions naturally arise, has God permanently rejected them as a nation? In other words, does the nation of Israel have a future? Secondly, are all the promises of the Old Testament nullified, by the rejection of Israel? Remember, that God had promised primacy to Israel in the Old Testament. He had said they would be the head, not the tail, of the nations, Deuteronomy 28:13. My friend, all the promises of the Old Testament will have a literal fulfillment. Paul will make that clear. Remnant of Israel finding salvation. I say then, hath God cast away his people? God forbid. For I also am an Israelite, of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin, Romans 11:1. What people is Paul talking about? Israel. In case the amillennialist might miss this, Paul is very specific. Paul himself is present proof. He is a true Israelite of genuine stock. He is descended from Abraham. He is from one of the twelve tribes of Israel, Benjamin, one of the two tribes that never seceded from the nation. He was 100% Israelite. God forbid. Is more accurate. Let it not be it is a strong negative. Even the form of the question demands a negative answer. God has not cast away Israel as a nation. God hath not cast away his people, which he foreknew. What ye not what the scripture saith of Elias? How he maketh intercession to God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets, and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life, Romans 11 2-3. Paul uses old Elijah as an illustration, and he makes a good one. Elijah stood for God, and he stood alone. How I admire that man, standing alone for God against 450 prophets of Baal. And Elijah goes to the Lord to complain. He says, Lord, I am all alone, I am the only one left. God says, wait a minute, you think you are alone, but you are not. But what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself seven thousand men, who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal, Romans 11 4. Elijah, was totally unaware, that God had been working in the hearts of seven thousand men. If there were seven thousand men, who had not bowed the knee to Baal, then it follows, that there were about twice as many women, who did not bow the knee either, if you go by percentages. For the northern kingdom, this was a sizable remnant, in the day of Ahab and Jezebel. Even so, then at this present time also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace, Romans 11:5. God always had a remnant in Israel. That remnant today, is composed of those Jews who have come to Christ. This is the reason, Paul will say later, that all Israel is not Israel. And if by grace, then, is it no more of works, otherwise, grace is no more grace. But, if it be of works, then is it no more grace, otherwise, work is no more work, Romans 11:6. In other words, grace and works represent two mutually exclusive systems. They are diametrically opposed to each other. The remnant at this time, is composed of those who are not saved by works or by merit, they are saved by the grace of God. The future purpose of God, from the day Paul wrote down, to the present, concerns those who will accept Christ. What about those who do not accept Christ? Well, 
The remainder of Israel is hardened. Remainder of Israel blinded. It is important to notice, that they were hardened because they failed. They did not fail because they were hardened. A lot of folk get the cart before the horse. In fact, they get the horse in the cart, and it doesn't belong there. What then? Israel hath not obtained, that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded, Romans 11 7. Did they fail to come to Christ, because they had been blinded? Oh, no. They had been exposed to the gospel, as no other people have been exposed to it. God said, All day long have I stretched forth my hands, unto a disobedient and gainsaying people, Romans 10 21. He has been patient with them. Now, they are blinded, because they would not accept the light He gave them. According as it is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear. Unto this day, Romans 11 8. They had rejected, you see. When a man rejects, he becomes the most difficult to reach with the grace of God. And David saith, Let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Romans 11 9. This is a quotation from Psalm 69 22 which says, Let their table become a snare before them, and that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. The table has reference to feasting, which is representative of material prosperity. The children of Israel had great feasts, at which they were actually guests of God, they did not invite God to their feasts as the pagans did, rather, God invited them. The Passover was a notable example. The thought here, is that they were feasting in a conceited confidence which was entirely pagan. Their carnal security deceived them, as to their true spiritual ruin. They trusted the things they ate, without any true confidence in God. My friend, this is the condition at the present moment, of multitudes of church members. They come to the Lord's Supper without a spiritual understanding. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see, and bow down their back alway, Romans 11:10. God gives light, in order that men might see, but if they are blind, they will not see. The light reveals the blindness of multitudes today. I am amazed that so many intelligent people, do not seem to understand, what the Bible is all about.